Hi, I'm Zach from Trinet. We're speaking with Tweaktown today, and I'm going to show you a few of the products that we're launching here at CES. So one of the first ones we have here is uh, we're really excited about. It's a TW673GRU. It's 300 megabit per second concurrent dual band wireless and gigabit router. It's a little bit of a long name, but the key parts about this router is the first thing, it has a kick-ass chipset. So we have an Atheros-based chipset in here with a 680 megahertz CPU that powers this one. So the raw power inside uh, this router is very, very strong, so you're going to have extremely good throughput. Uh, most antennas are 2 dBi antennas, so these are 4 dBi antennas. So that means it's going to kick out that signal and you get exceptional coverage uh, from the router. Uh, on the back, we have all gigabit uh, LAN and WAN ports, and there are two USB ports on the back. So the USB ports are to network printers or storage drives, and then anyone on your network can have access to the printers or storage drives. It's pretty convenient. Uh, it has a WPS button on the side, and WPS kind of takes the hassle out of connecting to the router. You just press the WPS button here, and then your adapter, your computer, you press the WPS button, and then they'll automatically sync up. You don't have to input the complicated codes anymore. Uh, another really cool part is the color LCD. So right now we don't have anything connected to it at the moment, but if we had uh, you know, clients connected to it, then you would see the throughput in the uh, the throughput in real time. And let's back out to the. We're in a sub screen here, so we'll back out to the main screen. Okay, so this is the introduction screen, the main screen that you would see uh, when it's powered on. So you have 2.4 and gig 5 gigahertz total throughput, and then you'd see network connectivity in real time. Uh, and then there are a lot of other cool features that you can check out. You can see device information. So a lot of the information that you would only see if you actually logged into the router, now you can see it in real time. So it's great for troubleshooting. So for example, you can log in and see what version firmware you have in here. Uh, you can also see uh, what your internet connection, the status of your internet connection in real time. So here it shows it's disconnected and yeah, we do not have a connection to the WAN port. But if it was connected, you could also see uh, you know, how long you've been connected and the current status, etc. So there's a lot of cool parts to this. You can also see more information on the performance side of the router. Uh, so if you wanted to see detailed information on the 2.4 gigahertz, for example, you just navigate in there and then it would show the send and receive just for the 2.4 gigahertz band. And then separately, uh, you could go and see the send and receive for the 5 gigahertz band, and then the wired total wired throughput. So that's the wired throughput for the WAN and the LAN ports aggregated, and then your internet connection. So it's great for troubleshooting if you if you know if you're experiencing lag or so you can say, hey, is it my internet connection? And you'll see right away what kind of throughput you're getting from the internet connection. So we're excited to uh, send this out to sites like Tweaktown and see, see what you guys get for the real throughput. And I, we have a feeling that you know, we've done in-house testing. And this, this, pro, this router stands up to any router on the market today. So uh, can't wait to send out uh, the test units. It's going to be available in February. So you'll probably see tests come out around February. And the U.S. MSRP is $150 for this product. But it's probably going to retail maybe a little bit lower than the $150 mark.